beloved in Christ, you know the experience of doing something maybe against someone that um, caused them to be upset with you or angry with you and we sought their forgiveness and told them we were sorry for what we done but yet we realized that now they treat us differently and we seem to walk on pins and needles around them because we know that they truly had not forgiven us. And sometimes uh, that relationship will break apart or become very distant because of uh, the attitude that that individual have toward us because they have not truly forgiven us even though we have asked for it. We're beloved in Christ. God's Forgiveness is real, and it makes us alive, and it makes us walk in the liberty of that we have in Christ. In Him and through Him, we have all our being. We are only alive in Him and not of ourselves or our ability to make ourselves free, but rather it is what was done for us that we walk in freedom. Colossians 2.13 uh, gives this revelation. And you, being dead in your sins, uh, and the uncircumcision of the flesh had he quickened together with him having forgiven for forgiven you all trespasses not some trespasses not some sin but sin in the past the present and beloved believe it or not of the future you say well how could he forgive us for future sins well beloved he already knows what those sins are going to be. So if He forgive you now, He forgive you for those that will uh, proceed in the future. Beloved, we have, to walk, we have to understand this so we can walk in the freedom that He has purchased for us. As the Word says, and you being dead in your sins. We were once dead in our sins. Our old man is dead in his sins. Without knowing this revelation. First, we cannot go further in our walk with the Lord. Until we recognize that we are now alive in Him. Because of the forgiveness of all our trespasses, then, beloved, we cannot uh, 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 sustain our walk because we will continue to fluctuate and be unbalanced in our walk with the Lord until we fully understand that. And as the word says, in the uncircumcision of the flesh, he's talking about the born again. Gentile believer who now heart has been circumcised. Amen? And had he quickened or made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Beloved, we are now alive in Christ seated in heavenly places in Christ because of one thing, the forgiveness of our sins. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth and trusts in Him would one day have 
eternal life. Beloved in Christ, believe that and walk in the confidence that Jesus purchased for you on Calvary. Be blessed and may the Father open your heart to his understanding in the name of Yeshua Jesus the Christ.